So there's a lot. So I don't even know where How, to begin. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> if. I know that we've been doing a lot of repipes here. What do you recommend? What What do you see that rec will recommend for somebody to do a repipe in their house? Or how long until they have to go ahead and repipe? Um, that's a pretty big question that has a lot of variables when it comes to determining a status of a repipe, whether it's needed or not. Um, in older homes that were plumbed with, say, galvanized piping or copper piping, uh, again, back to the water quality here in Florida, uh, you got the minerals. Um, if you're on city water, you got high chlorine content, which all play part in that material breaking down. Um, chlorine especially is an acid that deteriorates the metallic pipes. Um, so if, if, if you had a builder that built a house that used the thin wall copper, you're going to get much less, much less life out of your plumbing system than if you had a uh, contractor that built the home that used thick copper. Um, same with the galvanized pipe. Well, so the, the galvanized pipe um, will corrode from the inside out and it'll actually, if you had say a three quarter inch galvanized pipe, over time, that scale and flake that builds up inside of that pipe will reduce the inner diameter of the pipe, eventually closing it off to where you lose all water pressure. So uh, really depending on the type of material, the quality of the water, whether your home has water filtration or not, um, can determine really the lifespan on your system overall. Um, we typically see maybe 30 to 50 years out of old copper pipe before it's needed to be replaced. Uh, a lot of the old metallic pipe is plumbed underground underneath the slab before the house is built, um, which when it does have an issue, it's what we refer to as a slab leak. So typically a slab leak will be about a third of the cost of what it would cost to repipe your home not including any flooring repairs or drywall repairs or painting or anything like that that may need to be done after the repair is made. So you also got to take into consideration the reconstruction of the home if you choose to just do the repair versus just biting the bullet and going ahead with the repipe and not having to worry about it for many years to come.